Let's move on to mode three, shutter speed priority mode. Now everything that we've covered so far exists here except for the ISO controls and we'll revisit ISO controls in the next step, don't worry. So the new feature that we have here that we didn't have in program auto is the shutter speed slider, which is right here at the top. The EV slider that was in its place on program auto is now moved into the quick function menu. And you might be wondering, why would you want to use shutter speed priority? So the number one use case for me personally is to shoot low light photography. Although you could use this mode for shooting fast moving objects as well, by ramping up the shutter speed all the way to the maximum if you want to, one eight thousandth of a second. But you can achieve that in auto mode or program auto mode, especially with the continuous autofocus 20 frames per second. So let's focus on what the shutter speed actually does. Let's say we wanna shoot something that moves very fast. We ramp up the speed as quickly as we can, effectively capturing an image very quickly. The issue with this is if you are in a slightly darker lighting condition, the image is gonna be very dark. Now on the flip side, if we slow the shutter speed all the way down, we're letting in way more light. So in a dark setting, we have a longer exposure, we get a brighter photo. So this is how you should take low light photos with the Sony Photo Pro app. You slow down the shutter speed, which allows the camera to capture more light and therefore you get a brighter image. Now this is very important guys, to get the best night photography, you have to use a tripod with this phone. And when you have a tripod, you can even do 30 second long exposures, which are insane. Literally, if the room is pitch black and you did a 30 second long exposure, you're gonna see a lot of detail. Now, word to the wise here, any kind of camera shake, whilst taking a long exposure, can completely ruin the photo. And here's a ninja tip for you guys. Remember that self timer feature, which I showed you right at the beginning, this is perfect for night photography because even a little bit of a wobble when you push the shutter button can ruin the image. If you set the timer, push the shutter button, you've now got three seconds for the shake on the tripod to stop and it's ready to start shooting on its own. Very important tip there. Now, if you don't have a tripod and you wanna shoot night photography, you can still do it. And it does help if you have a steady hand, but when it comes to the shutter speed, which is what this mode is all about, I wouldn't recommend going any slower than one tenth of a second. I experimented with this a lot. Sometimes you can get away with one eighth of a second, but for me, one tenth of a second seemed to be about right. And if it's still too dark at one tenth of a second when shooting by hand, you can ramp up the EV to get a bit of a brighter shot. And that seems to work really nicely. So the real art of using shutter speed priority for night photography is finding the right balance of shutter speed white balance and getting the exposure values where you want them and then the last thing the cherry on the cake is shooting in raw very important you shoot in raw because you can bring out so much details after the fact okay number four and the final mode the most advanced mode of all manual mode so if you've got to this point in the video that must mean you're really interested in what this phone is really capable of and you must be enjoying the video and I appreciate you guys. So thank you for watching. But anyway, this is manual mode. So this mode is for you if you understand everything that came before. And again, shutter speed is front and center at the top. The difference here is that now we have control of the ISO, which I spoke about earlier. This is where it comes into play again. So if your image is too dark, let's say you're doing night photography and you're using manual mode now, you set your shutter speed to a slow speed, you can actually use the ISO to balance it out even more. By turning up the ISO, you're making the sensor more sensitive to light. By turning it down, you're making it less sensitive to light. But here's the big problem with ISO. You might just be thinking, instead of doing a slower shutter speed, why don't I just ramp the ISO all the way up to the top and take the photo and I'll get a good night photo that way. Don't do that. If you go too high with the ISO, you're gonna introduce a lot of noise, digital noise into the photo and you won't be able to correct it after the fact. So my personal rule and advice to you guys, if you're gonna use the ISO adjustments, is always keep it as low as possible at the beginning and then gradually work it up from there if you need to. If you can't brighten your image up with the shutter speeds, then you can introduce a slightly higher ISO. And if you're feeling confident, I recommend you guys definitely go in and try out manual mode. But if you wanna practice, go back to the program auto mode. And if you wanna do night photography 
use the shutter priority, or if you just wanna take raw photos for Instagram and you don't wanna to have to think too much about what you're taking photos of, instead of using the stock camera app, use this, the Sony Photo Pro app. It really is awesome. And if you guys wanna see what this camera can do, I compared the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II to the Samsung S20 Ultra and the P40 Pro. If you wanna see how it did in that video, thumbnails on the screen right now. I've got more content on this phone coming soon as well, so make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't be late.